All students in Broward and Monroe counties are back in school. School buses this morning dusting off the wheels and hitting the road bright and early. And it's an emotional first start to the new school year for students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Classes back in session, one on the six month anniversary of the shooting there. This year, students and staff are facing over a dozen new security changes district wide. But even with students already back in classrooms today, there are lingering concerns about school safety. We have live team coverage beginning with Amber Diaz. She is standing by with more details on the first day of school across Broward. But we begin with CBS 4's Riel Creighton. She is live in Parkland with more on the school security under scrutiny at MSD. Riel. Absolutely under scrutiny and a whole lot of changes to face these students on the first day of school. But with the exception of incoming freshmen, a lot of these kids have been here before. And not only did many of them tell us it was easier, but they feel safer than when they had to come back just two weeks after the massacre. It's the long march back to class at Marjorie Stone Mid Douglas six months later. A new school year and a new way of life where safety is suddenly a first day focus. The child's made the day as normal as possible. Some hopeful, others anxious. And it's sure, I feel safe going back to school, but I'm not less worried. I'm worried about my friends who go to school town over who don't have 52 additional cameras, who don't have additional RSO officers and security officers. There are over a dozen new security measures that welcome kids back in Broward County Schools district wide but changes specifically geared toward the nearly 3,200 returning to Douglas. From single point entry, controlled access card readers, 2,500 new surveillance cameras, upgrades to 10,000 more, and double the security at MSD. Still, for some parents, not nearly enough. Stephen Farrowman says despite feeling the school is safer, he's part of a vocal group who think the school board and Broward Superintendent Robert Runcie need to be ousted. Hell no. He's definitely not doing his job. Meantime, Runcy, day one at Douglas, touting changes he's overseen with a laser like focus on school security. Armed security staff at each and every one of our schools. But that the source of his latest headache. As the district admitted yesterday, they were scrambling on the eve of the first day, awaiting more trained armed guardians to comply with legislation that every school have an armed officer on campus. Minus 13, they reached out to Fort Lauderdale police to cover the shortfall. Today, Runcy responding as to why they didn't know about it until yesterday. And that was part of our planning. So we got plan A, B, C, and D. It's going to take us um, uh, a good part of this year to get to a stable type situation relative to the staffing, but that doesn't mean we're going to leave any school um, without um, uh, a, a armed guardian or an armed guardian or a school resource officer. Now, Runcie went on to talk about the shortfall in law enforcement across the county and even the state and about the long list of achievements that he says have happened under his watch. One thing they did not have in place today, however, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, very controversial, were those metal detectors. The school district is still deciding on that. We're live in Parkland, Rayel Creighton, CBS 4 News.